Hey, it's Joy. Today is Sunday, August 18th, and I am doing this video that I haven't done in a while, which is how much my car battery would drain when I leave it unplugged and parked and idling for a long period of time. Tomorrow, I am going on a trip to Shanghai, China, and then to Taiwan. I will be gone for about two weeks, but this is the last time I am actually using my car. So I think I'm going to leave my car completely untouched for 15 or 16 days. Before I show you the stats, I want to mention that during this trip, I will not be opening up my Tesla app. So I'm going to let my car go to sleep unless there is a software update available. Then I will open up the app and update the software of the car. Otherwise, I'm leaving it completely alone. Also, the reason why I want to do this updated video on the battery drain is because recently Tesla released a feature with the Tesla app that if you're not sending a command to your Tesla car, that your car is supposed to remain asleep, which will further minimize the drain when car is idling or AKA phantom drain. So I want to test this out because if you've been following my channel and you've watched my previous videos on these type of tests, the most recent one when I left my car completely idling while I was traveling overseas, the average per day drain, battery drain was less than 0.5%. I think it's like 0.48% or something, which is pretty minimal already. But I'm curious with this new feature to further reduce the phantom drain, if that's going to go down even more. So we're going to find out from this trip. And another thing with this test I always share with people is I am leaving my car completely alone as is. I do have my cabin overheat protection enabled at the moment, but this is going to be disabled automatically on its own after the car has been idling and parked for 12 hours. Also, this will be disabled automatically if at any time the battery falls below 20%. So I often get comments from people saying, well, you didn't turn off cabin overheat protection. And it's totally fine because after 12 hours, it's going to disable itself anyway. So now let's get to work and uh, I'm going to show you the stats and how I prep for this car to be idling for the next two weeks. Okay, so here's the situation. Right now it is 2.05 p.m. on August 18th and my car battery is at 43%. So like I said, I'm leaving this completely alone. However, I do have these customized lights, ambient lights that I've installed. And then I also have these footwell lights. Let me turn this on. Yep. So I am actually going to unplug these, even though these LED lights, the draining has been minimum. I want to further minimize the phantom drain while I'm away. So I am going to actually unplug this right here. So now the lights are off. Footwell lights are off. And this car is also going to be under covers. I do have a car cover that I put on because I park underneath the tree. And that would also help to regulate the battery temperature as well. And by the way, sentry mode will not be enabled while I'm away. I will see you guys when I come back from my trip. FYI, if you're curious about how your Tesla or EV's battery is doing, log on to recurrentauto.com and get a free report to see your real world range information on your Tesla. Additionally, if you're thinking about buying or selling a secondhand EV or Tesla, recurrent 
Sharon partners with different dealerships around the country to provide this free report. So you will make sure that you won't get an EV or Tesla lemon when buying secondhand. Also, when you're negotiating to sell your used Tesla, you will be able to get the best price possible. So log on to recurrentauto.com today and get your free report. Okay, I am back from my trip. Today is Wednesday, September 4th, around two o'clock in the afternoon. It's been 17 days since I've touched this car. First of all, let's check out what the battery drain has been. Moment of truth. After 17 days, my battery went down to 37%. When I left, it was at 43%. So in 17 days, it only drained 6%, which is phenomenal. I can tell you that this is much, much less than previous times before Tesla rolled out the um, keeping the car asleep feature in the app and i did open up my app once while i was away because i got a minor fix update with some of these new features that i have not tried out yet i actually forced quit the tesla app it was not even running in the background i did not open it until i had that software update tesla has figured out a way to further minimize these phantom drain when your car is idling and it is really negligible now so if you're still anxious or stressed out about leaving your car unplugged and unattended when you have to go away on a trip or an extended trip, in my case, 17 days, you don't have to worry about it at all. So thank you so much, Tesla, for continuing to improve this car and how painless and stressless, I guess, <laughs> non-stressful owning this car is. Thank you so much for watching this updated video on the battery drain test. I will see you in the next one and God bless.